Good evening, basketball fans. I'm Caroline Cohn, and I'm here with Aristegui Gusamos. And we're watching the Park Lady Trojans face off against the East Strasburg South Cavaliers. Yep. Hopefully, we get a good game tonight. Um, the Parkland Lady Trojans had a game last night at home and fell to Wilson Westlawn, a team from Berks County, in overtime. So they're going to be looking to play dominant tonight and come back after their first loss of the season. And we just had Talia Zarinska shoot her three free throws. Yep, looks like they're high pressing. Oh, they got the steal. Their record is now 10 and one following the loss last night. Yep. Tally looks open for three. Sinks that one. Just hitting her stride early. She actually just recently scored her 1,000 points. Yep. Uh, over winter break, they had a tournament at Blue Mountain. Or Pine Grove, they were playing Pine Grove and she hit her 1,000. Ooh. That's a huge accomplishment. No I got foul on that there. Play. Yeah. So Parkland are currently 10 and one. They sit atop the West Division, and overall in the EPC, they're second behind Easton. Easton are defending District 11 champions. Looks like we have a timeout here. Yep. So East Strasburg South is actually only one and nine right now. So it'll be a little tougher game playing a strong opponent in Parkland, but I think it'll be a good game for them to regroup themselves after their first loss. Yep, I agree. Looking ahead, the Parkland Trojans their next game is versus Emmaus. So that'll be a battle of Cedar Crest there. Emmaus beat them last season for the first time in a, a while. So there's definitely going to be a lot on the line. Hopefully this game prepares them for a strong team in Emmaus. They're currently 5-6, and six, but they're, they're rivals, so they'll play their best. Oh, the ball was tipped. All right, looks like on the court we got Lauren Irvin and Aniri, Maddie Siggins, Elaney, and Talia. Steal by Talia. Talia's Almost. battling. Jump ball. And it stays with East Stroudsburg South. So Lauren Irvin's actually coming off a knee injury off the soccer season. She played a huge role in leading them to EPC and district championships. So she's back on the court. Strong defensive presence for the Trojans. Oh. Caused a air ball shot there. <laughs> Great player. Has lots of heart and passion. I'll probably see her diving on the court for a loose ball. The type of player she is. Trojans are probably happy they have a gritty player like oh, that. Shot by Laney. Laney for three. They're off to a great shooting start. Yep. Another press on defense. Looks like they were able to get it up the court, though. Oh, yep. Steal Another for Lauren. turnover. All right. In the area on a breakaway. Oh, all right, Maddie. Maddie's got the ball back. In traffic, he's fighting for the ball. East Strasburg South come away with that one. So Tally is actually committed to play D1 basketball at Lafayette. Yep, competing in the Patriot League. They're double teaming now. Yep. Timeout taken. No. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> uh, not a timeout, just a substitution. Yeah. I like to I like the way the Trojans are playing. Haven't let up any points yet. Seeing Laney shoot that three has some confidence. That's good for their next game. Looks like do we have Addie Fritzinger in now? And Sophie Frank is in the game. Addie is only a sophomore. And Sophie this is shot for three. Resetting the offense.
Here goes Sophie. I like to see the ball movement, unselfishness on the court. It's always good for down the road in playoffs. Talia for three. Got Sinks it. That. She's a good shooter. Good She's three point percentage. Game. She averages 15 points per game. Maddie leads the team in 16 points per game. Definitely good sh shooters for the Parkland Trojans. And Maddie Siggins is also actually committed to play basketball in college at East Stroudsburg University. Yep, that will be in the PSAC League. So that'll be good. Glad that she made the decision. Foul by Sophie Frank. Winding down on the first quarter, 16 to zero. Trojans playing great. Is that a double dribble? Double travel? dribble, travel, something. Well, that's a turnover. Still no points. Hopefully they can get out of the first quarter like that. Let's see if they're going to run down the clock and try to get mm -hmm. a shot off. We'll see exactly who takes the last what shot. Do. Yeah. This is going to be set up for Lauren Irvin has the ball. They got about five seconds left. Yep. So. All right. Laney. Laney sets up for three. Uh, um, lucky oh. Sophie. Yes. Buzzer beater. That's great work. Didn't give up on the play. 18 to zero. Yep. End of the first quarter. They played great. Great defense, great shooting. Parkland cheerleaders out on the court. School spirit. It looks like one of them is wearing a boot. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. So the Parkland Trojans captains this year are Talia, Maddie, Delaney, and Lauren. So they're looking to lead their team to hopefully EPC and district championships, possibly states. The road is definitely difficult, but if they stick together and they work hard at practice and perform well like they are today, they'll definitely achieve that. Last season they came up a little short in districts and EPCs, but they definitely have that fight in the senior class that will lead them hopefully yep. to those titles. Yep, the team's actually mostly sophomores and seniors. <laughs> There's a lot of sophomores on the team yep. actually, like half of the team. Yep. Looks like we got S Bella, Bella Halal. Halal. Yep, Jinx. <laughs> I think that's Sarah Carr on the court, Addie Fritzinger, and Sophie Frank. Looks like Talia and Maddie are off of the court. They're leading scorers. Yep. Getting so some good minutes from oh, for some the newly steal. varsity players. That's good defense. Unlucky. Foul committed on Sarah Carr. East Charles are sh south shooting for two. Let's see if they can get on the board with some foul shots. Mm -hmm. First one's good. First shot. They are on the board. First point, I should say. All right, looks like an out of bounds play for East Strasburg South. 
We'll see if we can get a steal off of this. Mm -hmm. no, oh, shooter. Oh, Running and the they ball. got the offensive rebound, but missed the layup. Oh, she got it again, and a foul maybe? It was good effort no. by Strasburg. Offensive foul, I think. Yep. That was a good effort by her on yep. offense, though. Lainey Chilko taking up the ball. We like to see the way she plays. She's pretty, she's a good player, very calm, non that's, is that a good word to say, nonchalant? <laughs> but, sure. like, that's good. Uh, she's very calm on the ball. She's recently turned into a shooter. She used yep. to not shoot as much, but. Yeah, I was glad to see that confidence coming in as a junior. She's a three-year starter. Oh, here we go. Three for Sarah Carr. Oh, just Unlucky. It. These are good shots, and if they don't fall, that's okay, but. Yeah, and they're passing as as they're the ball well. Shots. Yeah. Uh -oh. Lainey's a little hobbling a little bit there. I she's going to get a that. sub. Hopefully she's good. Looks like Talia's back in. Yep. Talia's also a uh, four-year varsity player, four-year starter. Lots of experience. So that will be good. They do have a little bit of a young team. Bella Halal has been starting the, has been a current starter. She missed last season with a knee injury, but she watched from the oh, sideline. Talia. Three for Talia, great shot. She's having a great shooting night. Yep. Bella Halal is back for the Trojans after missing last season with a knee injury. She's been a key contributor, great defensive player. We have a lot of dual sport ath athletes on this Parkland basketball roster. Great steal there. Look to get a layup by Talia. Got it. Good work. I think Talia's leading all scorers today. Uh, definitely. It's good, good stuff. I think she's got at least three threes. So. Yep. Timeout. Yeah, so I think. Yes. Time yeah. Out. A lot of dual sport athletes. We got. Um, Lauren Irvin, Sophie Frank, Bella Halal, all soccer players. Laney. Laney, of course, yep. They all helped win championships this year and then went straight to basketball. A little bit of difficult transition, different game. Court is smaller, but they've done great and the Trojans are having a great season. We got Maddie Siggins, who's a volleyball player as well. Addison Fritzinger, softball. Yeah, all these girls that know what it takes to win a championship because they've won them, so they're definitely going to do their best to get one. Yep. I think that also helps their vision on the court, especially I know for soccer players, normally good defensive players and can see different things. So it definitely is to their advantage. Let's see if they can get uh, another score on the board here before the half ends. East Strasburg South does have a returning third team all-star, senior Lila Hernandez. So they're gonna look to get some contributions out of her tonight. Good rebound by them. It's a little bit of a far drive for East Strasburg South to travel to Parkland and vice versa. They're going to get home a little late tonight. Oh, another steal. Oh, didn't see number 24 oh, coming Oh, and another her. one, but the, oh, East Strasburg stole it this time. Yep. We should have kept the steal count. Yes. They're definitely fighting. Gotta love to see that. Shot here, yep. Uh, great rebound by Sarah Carr and great pass, wow. <laughs> Parkland Trojans do have two returning All-Stars in Maddie and Talia, both placed second team All-EPC last year. 
definitely proving that they could be first team. But if we were to ask them if that matters, they would all say that they would want to win the the districts and EPCs. And I think that's what is good about this team. They're they're all unselfish, all care about each other, all tight, which is what it takes to win championships. We had some subs wow. come in there for we East go. Stroudsburg South. Yep. Great passing. Wow. Very impressive. Can they get a shot in? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. tipped by East Stroudsburg Unlucky. South. And it's their ball. That was good ball movement by the Trojans. Yeah, they've been passing really well tonight. They got three minutes to get some more baskets. Yep. They've only scored seven in this quarter compared to 16 last quarter, so. Wow. Let's see if they can get a little bit more points. Production. Oh, offensive rebound and travel. Ooh, travel. It's tough to box out when the shots are a little off, but. I mean, they've been offensive rebounding great. They just haven't been making shots. Yeah. Looks so like we got Lauren Urban back on the court. Talia takes up the ball. Oh, she she hit that. There we go. And three. Lauren three. Urban is actually playing soccer in college. She's going to Dickinson. Yep. She's a great athlete all around. She also does track. So very happy for her decision. She used to do hurdles, but now she is a jumper. Jumping is where it's at, let me tell yep. you. Pass up to Sarah Carr. Kick off the foot. Parkland ball. Love to see Parkland athletes committing to college. Oh, great pass. Unlucky shot. Off of East Rods. Oh, off of Parkland. I thought it was East Rods Brook South. Talia taking out the ball. Open shot. And Neary for three. Uh, Unlucky. Oh, Lauren's on the floor. <laughs> I called that. We did say that <laughs> it was going to happen, so. <laughs> Two minutes and 30 seconds left. And, and another steal. Yes. Great pass. Oh, oh unlucky. Talia. It's been mostly Parkland ball, which is good. Only one point. East Stroudsburg ball again. The head coach of Parkland basketball is Ed Olson, and his brother is actually, I mean his son, sorry. His son is the head coach of the boys team. Mm -hmm. And the boys are also performing pretty well. They have a few losses, but look to Another be the top Another steal team. by Maddie. And the EPC, Talia draws contact, foul. Yeah, Parkland girls' only loss is out of conference. So mm -hmm. in the conference, they're still undefeated. Yep. I mean, they were a good Berks County team, Wilson Wasslon, pretty good in all sports. They lost in overtime, so it was definitely a close game. But if anything, they'll learn from it. It won't affect their, their seating in EPCs or, or districts. First shot's good. Tally has a good free throw percentage, so we like to see those go in. Do you know what that percentage is? I do not know. <laughs> I think it's probably in the high 80s. Did she miss the second one? I miss or make it? No, she I made missed. it. She made it. Yep. Their defense is looking pretty good tonight. Mm -hmm. Another turnover by East Stroudsburg. Great communication. You could tell that these girls work really hard on the during practices. They have good connections with each other, good communication, which is always good for down the stretch when they played more difficult teams. Far past to Talia. Unlucky. Rebound by Maddie, and she got the layup. Good stuff. 
Maddie's a great three-point shooter and gets majority of her points in the paint. Very strong, gritty. Both teams are really showing that they're not giving up even after they get a shot up on offense. They're still mm -hmm. going for those offensive rebounds. Sometimes that, that's the difference in, in difficult games. Who can inch better in 50-50 balls? Who has more heart? Showing that in, in a maybe a weaker opponent is always a good thing for their mentality that they'll push through no matter what the name of the team is. We got the cheerleaders back out on the court. Another timeout taken. Oh, wow. A flying flip. <laughs> That's great. Yep. So actually, in 2021, the Parkland Trojans won the district title. That was a crazy game. I was there. I was too. And it was, they were down at halftime. And I think about by 18, 17, yeah. 18 points. And they didn't give up. They had that mentality. Actually, an alumni, Mo Olenwine, she had been sidelined almost the whole season. And then she came back in postseason and hit that, that memorable game three. And... Um, that led them to their district title. And they made an appearance in the district final in 2020. So they're looking to do that again this year. Got about a minute left in the first half. Their biggest competition for districts is definitely Easton. Very well-rounded team, undefeated. Pretty sure they were undefeated last year as well. They were. Their only loss, two losses, was the Central and EPC finals and then their state loss in the state tournament. Definitely a very good team. Didn't m lose many strong contributors. Good so layup by Maddie. Team. Yep. Speaking of Central, they play them pretty soon and they're, what, the second seed? Uh, In Behind. the West Division, they're second. Behind us. So. Yep, I think they're seven and three. Oh. They have the league MVP in Molly Driscoll. Oh, almost got that one. Very good player. Something about those central teams, they're just gritty. They yeah. don't give up. They play very good defense. And they play with a lot of heart. I think a lot of small schools have that, which is a very good trait to have, which makes it difficult for, for our teams to beat them. Yep. Um, they're in a different class for districts, but they will be competing in the EPC tournament. So they definitely could face them in the postseason. Passing the ball around to waste the clock. Getting the final shot. Let's see. Oh, oh. unlucky turnover. Almost. Probably not going to get a shot off. Nope. Ah. All right, and that is the first half. 32-31, to 31, Parkland is winning. Very dominant performance. Looks like. They didn't let that loss last night affect them in any way. Nope. That's good. See if they can also only hold them to one more point second half. Yep. So me and Aristea used to play mm -hmm. Parkland girls basketball. Yep. We were a part of the program. And... Um, I played freshman year basketball with Caroline and Lauren Irvin and Zoe Worth. Yep. And we were under Coach Oz, and that was very fun. I mean, it was during that COVID year, so we were wearing masks and everything, but. It was very fun. Wait, did they hear anything we...
Is that me? Alright, we're back to talk about our Parkland Girls Basketball High School experience before yep. we stop. Yeah, we were a part of the Parkland Lady Trojans basketball program our freshman year. I was also my sophomore year. Yep, I retired from basketball after my freshman year to focus on soccer. Um, we played under Coach Oz. We played with Zoe Worth, uh, Lauren Irvin. We only played like 10 games because it was a COVID year, but it was fun. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And now we play rec basketball together. Yeah, and that's also pretty fun. I'm glad to see that the Trojans are successful, but it was a fun year. Yeah, so they're doing great so far. Yeah. They're 10-1 and one, like we said, hopefully 11-1 and one after tonight. We got some great scoring tonight by Talia and Maddie mm -hmm. also. Yep, Ty's playing great. I think she's leading all scorers, but focusing on the defense, they've only let up one point, which is very good after their loss last night. And they've gotten lots of steals on defense mm -hmm. tonight. Yep. This league win will improve their, their rankings and their seeding for the EPC tournament. Looking ahead, though, their next game, Emmaus. That'll be a big one. Battle of Cedar Crest. It'll be a good game. It's a great team. Their record is five and six, so they're in the middle. But rivalry is always and it's away. And so it's away. Emmaus is gonna have student section, school spirit, mm -hmm. lots of fans. So yep. it'll be a pretty great game, mm -hmm. I would say. Especially after uh, Emmaus beat the Lady Trojans last year in a close game. 
but that meant a lot to that Emmaus team, and as it should. I mean, it was their first win against Parkland in a while. So they definitely have that fire and the mentality that they did it once and they can do it again. Um, and that'll be a very good game to watch. If you're free that night, go to Emmaus High School to watch that game. They're very familiar with each other. They have a senior class that is strong and they're gonna be a good team. And I don't doubt that they might see them in the postseason. Oh, I think they 100% will. Yeah. Looking further ahead, they face the number one team in the EPC in Easton at home next Friday. They are a very good team. Strong players, Evelise Cole. D1 she, commit. D1 commit, playing great. They have two twins on the team that play well. And that'll be a good competition. That'll be a good view on how they've been performing and if they're they're up to the the task of one of the best teams in the league so that'll be good to see so now back to the game the parkland trojans are getting some shots up getting ready for the second half performance All right, the second half is about to start. East Stroudsburg starts with the ball. Not sure what's happening right now with yep. the delay, but maybe a ref, mm -hmm. looks like, was running onto the court late. Yep, there we go. Looks like they're in a zone defense. Yep. Zone defense. Caroline, when you played basketball, did you like zone or man? I liked zone better. Really? What about you? Well, it looks like the Parkland Lead Trojans like zone. They came up with a steal. All right, and Neary taking the ball up. Talia wants it. 
Great that bounce from Maddie. Yes. Oh, oh I'm Lainey. lucky. That, oh, is that Lainey? Lauren. That's Lauren. Lauren. Interesting trick out of the bag. Did Lainey end up coming back in the game? Let's see. Um, it looks like she's on the bench. Huh. I wonder if she got hurt. Hmm. Hopefully she's good. Yeah, I prefer man. Um, because you're more on them, like when you're playing defense. And zone is very difficult to move the ball around. You have to move it fast. But I think it's more successful in some ways. Three free Strasbourg. Nothing. Rebound there. by Maddie. <laughs> All air. Little jab step there. <laughs> Shot Ball by Amiri. Off the rim. Yeah, it's difficult to move the ball in zone, but it's basketball for you. <laughs> yeah, they don't really have anybody out on the other wings oh. to get the ball. Yeah. I feel like in zone you have to spread the court. Agreed. To make some pockets of space for that those cuts, but the timing has to be good. So that's why practice makes perfect, and, and you need to be out on the like out of the three point line to get yep. the ball. But they yeah. really weren't, so that's probably why they didn't get yeah. a but chance. Trojans are. There we go. Good oh. movement there. Lots of passing. Mm -hmm. Going on, yeah. Lauren Irvin got the ball. Turnover. Almost. Nope. nope. Tips S by Still East possession Jonesburg. for the Trojans. Yep. Natalia has the ball. Switches it to Neri. Oh, almost, almost poked turn. away. Uh, ooh, great save by Lauren. That's good grit there. Didn't give up on the play. Batted away by Easter Oddsburg. It's a difficult pass, but it's okay. Taking it up the court. Still in zone are the Parkland Trojans. East Oddsburg needs to spread out the ooh, court more. Another turnover. Wow, great what pass. a pass. Great vision there by Talia to Maddie. Maddie and Talia actually play club basketball together, so they definitely have that chemistry and connection that they need to perform well at the high school level. So that is good to see. Almost batted away again by mm -hmm. Parkland. Yeah, they just do not yep. know what to do while yep. Parkland is in zone. The pressure's too high right now. Looks like that was a three by Addie Fritzinger. Sophomore on the team. Very key player. Starting and coming off the bench some games. Looks like we got some subs coming in for mm -hmm. Parkland. That's good that these young players, younger players, are getting the varsity experience. By the time they're they're seniors, they'll be very well rounded. Yeah. We have, they might be on the younger side of the team now, but yeah. in a year or two, they'll be very ready. Yep. That's a steal by Neri. Picked up by Maddie to Talia. Talia has the ball. Good ball movement. Move the ball fast to tire out the defense. And Maddie drew a foul on that mm -hmm. shot to open up those pockets of space. Good stuff there. Maddie is also a very good free throw shooter. Can I tell you who's not? You. Me. Not <laughs> a good free throw shooter. She's just not a great shooter yep. in general, if we're being honest here. At the end of the game, you don't want me with the ball in my hands <laughs> getting fouled. I'll tell you that. Looks like we got some subs coming in. We got Sophie Frank. Sarah Carr, looks like Kat. Catalina, yeah. Yep. Talia and Maddie, Lauren. Mm -hmm. No, Lawrence. Wait, Talia and Maddie are both still in. Yep.
A little bit more than halfway through the third quarter. Deep three. Almost Rebound in. by, by Sophie. Sophie. Sophie's really come into her own this season. I've watched a few games and great pass. They got a bucket. Yep. They got a bucket. Sophie came off an ACL tear and wasn't able to compete last season for the team. Came back this year. Although her role is not starting, she's a very key contributor to the team. And that's, glad, that's good to see for the Parkland Trojans to have a steady reserve to produce. She has that height, definitely, so yes. that's good for the Trojans. That's something you can't teach. You're just born with, you know? So that's good. Maddie shot. Great offensive rebound once again. Sarah Carr. Unlucky there. East Trafford pushing the pace. All right, one on one right Takes now. Takes it to Talia. Foul. Draws a foul. See if she can make any of these foul shots. Mm hmm. Yep. The Parkland boys are also competing tonight. Hopefully, they come out with the win. And they'll be competing at home versus Emmaus, which will also be a very good game for the viewers in Lehigh Valley. That will get a lot of attention. Yeah, the stands will be packed. Yep. Shooting mm -hmm. her second free throw after missing the first. Mm -hmm. She got it. Another point on the board for East Strasburg South. Inery pushes the pace. Switch by Sarah Carr. Pass into Sophie and then Maddie and then Inery. Good defense by East Strasburg South, covering the gaps. Also playing in zone still. Mm -hmm. Come up with the seal. Wow. One on one again. Wow. Drew. That charge. Foul. Great work by whoever. I didn't see who that was, but. I think it might have been Sarah. That's good stuff. Hustling back on defense and willing to take the charge for the team. Looks like Aneri is going to be playing point right now. Mm hmm. Oh, almost saved, but just missed it. East Stroudsburg ball again. Mm -hmm. Still shooting well this half, but the first quarter was probably their best shooting. Yeah, they came off really hot and strong and kind of put oh. the game to rest right away. It was a shot, but it was blocked. Jump ball yep. stays with East Stroudsburg. Jump balls are so interesting to watch, They're like fighting for your life, <laughs> trying to grab the ball. That's great. Oh, maybe oh. they did give it to Parkland. <laughs> good defense by Sophie, not letting her mm -hmm. get the ball out. That was a good pass. They, zone here. they do have some tall girls on their team, though, from the looks of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was almost in. Oh. <laughs> it was not in, but <laughs> she thought it was. Oops. <laughs> Got that little tap on the shoulder there. I was ready to compliment. It's okay. <laughs> we got the cheerleaders coming back out. Mm hmm. You know what I saw? What? That cheerleading is the number one uh, leading concussion sport. Huh. I know. That's what that's what I was like. Actually, girl soccer is up there too. Probably ACL with them. Yeah. And basketball. Mm -hmm. Yep. Coming into the last quarter here. Put on up a great lead. Yep. They're doing great. 
despite the loss yesterday. Came back, didn't let that affect them. Back to back games. So probably a little fatigued from last night, but they look great out there. And they'll have four day, three day rest. No, mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday rest days before the big Emmaus game. Yep. It'll be a good game to watch. Probably going to put in some subs here soon mm -hmm. to get the younger girls some playing time. Experience. Experience, yeah. Yep. Looks like no changes yet, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Always a good score line to show the rest of the teams that they have a good defense and a high-powered offense. They have a new point guard in, though, it looks like. Um, Haley Hudson, number 11. She's a sophomore. Mm -hmm. Sophie with the ball. Wow. Great what? move. That was a good move. Unlucky off the yeah, board, but that that's some confidence move. right there. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Kat lost a shoe there. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever brand that is, I, I would send a report. <laughs> Those aren't working. Get your money back. Maybe she just needs to tie her shoe tighter. <laughs> Maybe. Looks like they stopped the game. What are you, uh, Caroline? What's your brand preference, Nike or Adidas? I like Nike better. You like what Nike? You? Mm -mm. You're I'm an Adidas girl. Isn't it actually Adidas? Pretty sure that's Adidas. how you actually say it. Well, I'm not that fancy, but I do like Adidas shoes. So let's talk about a predominant women's basketball player, Caitlin Clark. You heard of her? From, From Iowa, Iowa, yeah. Iowa State. I don't know if it's Iowa State. Iowa. Yeah. Well, her team is coming to New Jersey and Rutgers. So it's pretty local. If you want to go see possibly one of the greatest basketball players, definitely collegiate players, I would go stop by and see that game. Looks like Parkland gave up a foul. Yep. See if East Strasburg can get some more points on the board. Mm-hmm. So far, they've only held them to points off a of foul shot. So yep. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. She made the first one. We'll see about this next one. She's got it. Two, two for two. two. Mm -hmm. Jinx again. Yep. On the same page. That's why we're commentators. <laughs> Maddie's at the top now, mm -hmm. moving around on offense. So if you're looking for an option, tipped by East Strasburg, but Parkin got it back. It's good ball movement, definitely. Yes, great shot by Maddie. Even with the girl in front of her, had that confidence to, to they shoot that. They have done really well, three-point shooting tonight. Yeah. Six minutes left in the game. Good shot by East Strasburg. Rebound by Sophie. Looks like Haley has the ball. Timeout, maybe? Yep. Mm, no. <laughs> Substitutions. Subs, yeah. All right, let's see who we got in here now. I think it's the same. Uh, Sophie, uh, uh, someone came in. Uh, Olivia Wynn. Olivia Wynn is on the court. Batted away by East Stroudsburg. <laughs> All right, Parkland gets Trojan's the ball, ball. Back. Refs are really taking a while to give them the ball. 
See if we can get some more three-point shots in. Good ball movement. Good pass. Travel. It's all right. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Trojans up 43 to 4. Good pass by her. And Drew foul. Mm hmm. I think she might have been the one that just made those two in a row. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. And she got it. She's three for three. So we got two shooting. subs coming on. It's like Katie Samarco. And um, can't see her number right now, but we'll get back to you when we know her name. Looks like we are still going to hopefully hold on to this win with this comeback they're getting by their foul shooting. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Pretty comfortable right now. Ooh, steal though. Straight into traffic. Oh, rebounded. Park in possession. Another steal. steal. Wow, two in a row. Yeah. Foul. Another foul. That's difficult to see. All right, it looks like number 12 is Savannah Gonzalez, another sophomore. Mm. No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Some more foul shooting. This court is going by a little slower. Well, the foul she shooting. made the first one, so all of their points have come from foul shots. Yeah. None from open play, which is good and bad. You don't want to foul, you know, but at least that means you're playing better defense in open Missed play. Missed the second one. Rebound by Parkland. And a foul on East Stroudsburg. Here we go again, taking forever to get the ball in for some mm -hmm. reason. Dribbling up the court. Jump ball. Unlucky. East Stroudsburg's ball after that jump ball. Mm hmm Little bit over two minutes left. Yes. See if we can get to 50 points. Oh, with a Great steal. Great steal. She gonna pass it up, take it herself, passes pass. it. Pass a little bit too late though. Mm -hmm. Three for Haley. Off the rim. Bodies Rebound. are flying. She is uh -oh. still down. Looks like Injury we're going to get a out. trainer on the court. Hopefully she's okay. We got our wonderful trainer, Regan, out mm -hmm. there. We can see Kevin Frank in the corner <laughs> taking some photos. <laughs> he took photos for Parkland Girls Soccer this year. They turned out great. Very not grateful for that. about Parkland Girls Soccer, Arstea. I'm trying this not to make it Lady about Trojan that. basketball. I understand. He's He was our photographer, too. Hopefully it's nothing too serious for yeah. this injury. Mm -hmm. On a side note, Caroline, how was your Christmas? How was your winter break? It was great. How was yours? Uh, it was good. It went by really fast. It did. It always fast. does. So that was our last winter break. We're both Looks seniors. Like she is okay, everybody. Getting yep. up and walking off. It's a good sign. 
Yep. I wonder it, how the transition is what? for for the Parkland basketball players coming off of Christmas, you know. Well, they don't get much of a break because they still got to come into practice mm-hmm. on our days off. Yep. That was must stink. I know yeah. some of their practices are at 8 a.m. Yep. I'm not much of an early person. Me neither. I'm a, I'm a night owl. Go to bed late and complain about my sleep schedule, but continue to do it again. <laughs> I'm that type of person. It'll get better in college, hopefully, because I won't be able to function. <laughs> Under two minutes left. <laughs> three. Long three. Oh. Rebounded by jump ball, maybe, to Parkland? Yep. Parkland Hard ball. Hard to tell on that play. See if we can get mm-hmm. a shot here at some point, hopefully. Good pass. Good pass yeah. Well, that was a good block by East Strasburg. Should be parking ball. No. Unlucky. That's good defensive effort. It was. Down 36 and still not giving up. Yep. Says a lot about them as a team. Yep. Definitely. Good pass. Oh. Offensive rebound. Looks like rebounded by Olivia Wynn. 53 seconds left. No rush. Just got to stay calm. Looks like they're not going to break the 50 mark, but it's okay. played great. Yeah. Haley has the ball. Great move. Oh, oh. Stays with Parkland. Mm hmm. Less than 30 seconds to go. Running clock. Can they get a shot up before it ends? She's looking I for someone. I think so. Let's see. Katie Samarco. Oh. <laughs> I, I played soccer with Katie. She's great. I didn't even know she was on the court. She's just <laughs> sneaky like that. Five, oh. Deep three. Oh. And that is the game. Final score, 43-7. to seven. Your yep. Lady Trojans win. Hope Comfortably. To see everybody yep. at the Emmaus game on Monday. Mm-hmm. Very good win. Shot very well. Got Great a lot of players in. Yep. Only let up seven points, and none of them were from open play. They were all free Bad throws. Shots. Yep. Something to be proud of. And mm-hmm. Probably going to be a good talk from yep. the coach. So a winning streak of one game, and they'll look on to take good opponent in Emmaus. All right. And All right. thank you for listening. Signing off. Yep. We see will you. see you soon. Yep. Good night. Good night.